Ladies and gentlemen, now for the official introduction, the final fight and out of the blue collar weighing in at 75. He's 19, stands at 5'7. He fights out of Team Hansen and hails from Huddersfield, Jack Allen. And his opponent fighting out of the red collar weighing in at 74.7. He's at 28, stands at 5'11. He fights out of Team Combat MMA and hails from Bradford. Hello everyone and welcome to Combat Channel's Stand and Strike. We're here at Prism in Leeds. Alex King and Rich Kenny in commentary. It's the best seat in the house. Uh, we've got ourselves a K1 fight here, Rich. Yes, I'm at K1 today, Al, and we've got Michael Brown taking on Shaq Alley. Michael Brown's in the camo tie shorts, taking on Shaq, as I said, in the blue and white venom. So, uh, conflicting records here with uh, Mikey's 0 2 fight, and Shaq's 2 0 fight. We've seen both of these guys fight here before as well. The book, I mean, yeah, the book impressed us in here. Yeah, they've both been very, very good. Mikey's a, Mikey's a tough fight, but yeah, he's kind of always putting himself in position to kind of be a come behind victory almost. He yeah. like, seems to sort of like quite like taking a bit of punishment. Shaq's always more like to, uh, to get after it early, but yeah, very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Getting that phone box early. <laughs> wow. You know, we know that Mikey. Uh, we know that Mikey enjoys a uh, enjoys a rough and tough fight. And yeah, he's, uh, he's after it early as well, which is good. Nice knees. Both fighters demonstrated set early there. I'm uh, pleased with both of them. Yeah. Yeah, both guys physically match up very well. Yeah, 75 kilos, both at the same sort of height. So five ten. Six, Perhaps a slight reach advantage to Shaq, but with knowledge in it. Yeah, the, the range they're fighting as well has become almost negligible to be honest. Absolutely. No bad things. Good guards from both guys as well. They're both, you know, they're both after it early, which is good. Yeah. It's got a lot of knees early out, which yeah. is uh, slightly rare for a K1 amateur fight as well, because there is limited clinch, so uh, it's nice to see both guys. Use it, yeah, it would, it's a reasonably it's a reasonably advanced weapon like to, to use in a K1 fight. And a nice court kick there from Shaq. Yeah, Daniel just give him a warning there and say that it's, it is one catch strike and release uh, in K1. You can't just hold the leg and keep striking. So, Shaq Ali pouring the pressure onto Mikey in the corner now. Yeah, we know that Mikey likes it though. You know, he's uh, it's certainly not going to phase him, but there's only so many of those you can take, right? He's come out with the knees of his own. Those yeah, he's good, two solid knees there as well. It's a uh, nice, oh. nice left hook there from Shaq. Wow. A good knee down the bottom. Oh, good good up up the center as well. Very, very Bobble nice. Him. Neither Shaq's really after it right now, looking good, looking very good. And a knockdown there, which probably was just the right timing for Mikey Brown, who was really on the other end, some really yeah. nasty combat. Nice front kick. Comes out well with a beautiful teeth. And, uh, <laughs> teeth. Wow. Just throwing him off his range at the moment. He's uh, brutalised him a little bit in the corner there and then uh, Absolutely. shocked it with that front kick as well. Very nice. But do not count Mikey Brown out. This is the type of fight where he is, Rich. He'll, uh, he'll enjoy every second of that. Body kick and a roll at the end of the good first wow. round. Very nice first round. Oh, Shaq Ali looking sharp. Really yeah, sharp. really good. Good intention on all his movements yeah. as well. You know, he came out with that, that team knowing that Mikey was way forward, put him right on his bum. It was a really, really good shot as well. And it's those sort of shots out that leave an impression on the judges when you see a guy get knocked down with a single shot or a single kick. Even when it's a, a push kick or a teeth as well, it's an irrelevance when you put the guy on his backside. He's down, he's down. He's down. Yeah, a really fantastic first round for Shaq Ali. I mean, Mikey Brown strong in his, his own offence, but the second half of that round was all Shaq Ali. Yeah, the first half was very well balanced. Uh, I, I think Mikey landed some great knees as well. Yeah. As I said, it, it's quite rare to see so many knees early on, early on in, a, in a K1 fight like that with limited clinch. But it is good to see the guys making the use of that clinch while they've got it. Obviously, they're there to capitalise capital on it. Yeah, both guys do well in the clinch as well, you know, they're, uh, it's kind of the hallmark of your more at season fighter, to be honest, Al. And, uh, oh, really doing there. exactly what he was told there, single shot in the clinch, nice court kick, one shot. Last time he, uh, he put two or three in, he's caught like any sort of trip again, yeah. so it'll make uh, Mikey hesitant to leave, to use that uh, that lead kick, actually. Ooh, comes in with a nice left hook again. That lad did great. Good knee down the middle as well. Getting back in the tent there by Shaq and uh, Mikey yet to get off the ropes where he uh, is yeah. taking a few shots. Mikey's just getting some space and some breathing time, I think. Yeah, he just did a little bit of room to uh, yeah. re get his back in season and come back and uh, get behind his shots. Yeah. 
Oh, crushing, crushing blows from Jack Gallagher in the corner. Oh, it'll be a leg kick as well. That will be a, a solid eight count there. Jack looked good though, he looked really good. He saw an opportunity when uh, he taught him. And, uh, got right after him. Seven, eight, so let's continue. Hands up. That's the eight count back in. Mikey's kicks look a bit laboured. They down. are looking slow, Rich. Whether that's part of the fatigue or the damage he's taken already, I don't know. But they're being caught quite quickly, and uh, he's got no answer at the moment. With Shakali's barrage oh, beautiful, of punches. Beautiful, beautiful right hand over the top there. And he takes a knee. Started just working down his guard there, and uh, was dropped with that right hand over the top. Very, very nice. Getting good advice there from his corner from Team Hamilton, yeah. saying uh, stay composed, keep composure, get after it by all means, look to finish. Because we, we do have a three. Uh, Three knockdown round per round rule, so he can finish this now. But he does need to take a post. Mike is dangerous, you know. So Shaq pouring it on. More of the same. Taking his range of punches there, and, and that's it. Waving it off. That's all she wrote. Very, very good fight for Shaq Ali. Shaq Ali looking sharp, sharp, sharp in that in that bout there. Mikey Brown, tough competitor, terrific fight, but nothing for him in this particular event, did he? No, he came out well in the first round, uh, and then he, he kind of took a really tough. Tough couple of shots and that that, that lead thief I think took his thing with without his sails yeah. as well. Yeah, I don't but think that, that second round was all Shaq. Some of those knockdowns were hard as well, Rich. He landed hard on Yeah, the variety of shots, he was working the body really hard. It, it's, it's tough to get your composure back when you're eating that many body shots in the corner as well. Yeah. And uh, well done Shaq Ali, very good, very good fight. Terrific fight, thank you both. Fighters to the centre please, fighters to the centre. Ladies and gentlemen, after 1 minute 50 seconds of the second round, your referee, Mr. Dan Welsh, calls for stop to the fight, declaring your winner in the blue corner, Shaq Allen!